Blade. 1998. Wesley Snipes is a G. This movie about a half man, half vampire who kills vampires and is the only vampire who can fight people. And he's the only vampire who can go out in the daytime. And basically what he does is during the daytime, he kicks ass, he fights the vampires, and he goes ham with these vampires. And because, you know, they're, they're blood-sucking scumbags. They're horrible. They've been around for thousands of years. And this is just overall one of those great, gothic, weird, dark movies with those techno beats in the background. You know, it, it sounds like, like, they, they <laughs> dude, the music in this is so late 90s, early 2000s techno. It sounds very similar to, like, Matrix. And it's so, like, this paved the way for superhero movies to be recognized seriously without blade there is no x-men there is no spider-man most likely because after blade came out they started taking superhero movies more seriously okay that's a fact like everybody before this was looking at superhero movies stupid okay looking at them dumb howard the duck fucking uh Everybody liked the Incredible Hulk series, but it was always looked at as corny, similar to like the you know the Batman sixty six. I mean the Batman um, movies were pretty good, but then they kind of fell off after the uh, Forever Batman Forever and them. They were big box office, but everybody looked at them stupid. Like everybody looked at them as corny, except for the first two Batman things. But then after that, it fell off again. Mid nineties, nobody wanted superhero movies to be pro- to prosper. Then Blade comes out. And then we get X-Men, X2, Spider-Man. Oh, my God. The era for superhero movies from 1998 to about 2004 is the best time for superhero movies. I love the new Marvel movies, but there is no Marvel movies being as serious and well-made and well-funded without X-Men, Blade, and spider-man and spider-man 2 okay that is a fact in that era you know i grew up in like um i was born in 2003 and you know i was watching a lot of tv like as a little baby and always on spike or all these tvs i'd see movies like underworld spider-man 2 spider-man x-men x-men 2 daredevil not really a good movie but it was still on electra those pretty popular movies all were a result of Blade because studios started taking like movies like Blade seriously because it was a kick-ass time. And Wesley Snipes is a great actor. And he was in the latest uh, Dol- latest um, Eddie Murphy film called Dolomite Is My Name. He was great in that. I didn't like his character, but his performance was good like the character is meant to be unlikable because he's kind of like this washed up actor who really is like uh kind of like uh hating on the new guys trying to do their own thing that was a good movie but wesley snipes you know y'all gotta give him more respect and they better have mahershala ali ham in the new blade movie that they're coming out with this year and i have to say the special effects at the end fight were kind of garbanzo beans and kind of shiza like no but <laughs> like it's a lot of fun. I prefer the scenes. Like, like they tried to go too. They did too much. They, they, they wanted a spawn section. Like, spawn special effects, go bonzo beans. But Michael J. White uh, redeemed himself when he was cast in The Dark Knight. And he played spawn. Um, But, oh yeah, shout out to Todd McFarlane. He's got the script ready for the new spawn movie coming out. Uh, I'm interested to see what that's going to be like. Because, uh, like, you know up for you know the garbage that was the first spawn movie and spawns an interesting character i mean i haven't looked into him too much but i know the overall you know aesthetic and the the craziness that he represents and he represents that dark side of superhero comics that you know kind of feels like blade but you know blade solid movie Action, fun, crazy shit. Van- one of the best vampire movies. And shout out to Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, dude. Oh my god. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Dude, that movie was so hated for some reason. 
but who does not want to see Abraham Lincoln? That's some of the craziest shit I've ever heard of. You know, it, before that movie came out, nobody would have ever thought of that. Nobody would have ever thought of that, except for the person who wrote it. But, like, who would have thought that in 2012 we would have gotten a movie where Abraham Lincoln is fighting... The concept, is, the concept itself sells me. And when I saw that movie um, running on TV for, like, I don't know, it, it was crazy. Like, vampire things are so, they're so, like... I've always liked vampire stories more than zombie stories because you can't communicate with a zombie as a character. You, you're like as soon as you're a zombie, you're done. You're nothing. You know, you're a pile of mush that's walking around ah on the people's brains. But like with a vampire, it's sad because you're 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 there and you're looking at somebody who used to be something else and now they're now their sole purpose is to suck your blood while they can communicate with you and kind of be a normal person they'll still always have these mishaps where they're they're taking their blood and they're 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 looking for that blood you know and but you really you you miss that time where they weren't fiends you know they weren't addicts of blood you miss that you miss that part of them and now you can't have that anymore and that's why all most vampire stories are all tragic and sad, but always have good emotional roller coaster. But with zombie movies, it's all just kill, 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 like it's all just like you're getting rid of uh, you. It's like you're just running over some mindless deer in the road. But with um, vampire movies, it's like you. It's like you're accidentally running over something slowly and it's slowly dying but it's still alive and it's sad and emotional roller coaster it's like a very slow car crash and vampire movies solid i just gave you two recommendations guys blade and abraham lincoln vampire hunter two great fucking movies That's all I got for today's Hess Cash 34. Tell me guys what you thought of it. Has, 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 has. The, 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 Mike Media Empire. Mike Media Incorporated.